stoked here and want to welcome everyone to Rank Play Season 4, The Dread Necropolis. I don't know about you, but I am quite stoked for Noxramas. I mean, 30 new cards are coming out, 15 from defeating bosses, 5 from completing wings, 9 from class challenges. Uh, it's it's going to be pretty crazy. Uh, there's going to be 5 legendary cards coming out. Hopefully you guys are saving your gold. They're expecting the cost. Well, there's been men, a multitude of reports. Who knows what's fact? Who knows what's fiction? But I'm guesstimating between 600 and let's say a thousand gold per wing. Um, there's going to be five wings. First one, Blizzard stated, was going to be free. Uh, the last one it has a bit of controversy because it's an unlock. So I don't know if the unlock means that it's going to be free or you're going to have to pay for it. And then again, I still haven't heard anything with the gold cards. How are you going to get the golden versions? Are you going to, well, some people state that the, you know, the monsters are going to be harder, you know, whatnot, but that gets unlocked. I personally think there's a possibility of paying an additional amount of gold to be able to do that. I don't know. To me, it makes sense. They're not going to just kind of give those gold cards away. Uh, God forbid if they make it 600 for the regular version and 1,200 gold for the gold version, that would be a lot of gold. So we'll see. Anyway, hope you're you're saving your gold because it's coming up. Could be uh, could be here in a week. And uh, some people state eight years ago that uh, Nox Ramos was launched on the 20th, so there's a good chance it could be the 20th. Anyway, this isn't about Nox Ramos. This is about the decks and. God forbid that's all I can think about is Doxorama, so I might make a, a video on that. Actually, I will. I'll make one tonight. Back to the decks. Uh, these are some fresh decks here from the past week or two. I do want to showcase some decks by Trump. Uh, Mage has made a comeback here into the ladder, uh, one being the Legend Duck Giant Mage. As you'll notice, it has a lot of big creatures. Uh, both Giants, got the Alexstrasza, got the Archmage. It's a pretty nasty deck. Expect to see it. Now, the next deck, there's two variations. Uh, this deck was originally constructed by Its Otter and wasn't used hardly at all. It recently became popular, well, from Trump. He was streaming it. However, uh, RDU, if you remember, you may remember, he beat Amaz 3-0 at DreamHack with this particular freeze mage deck uh, there was quite a bit of controversy in that gameplay which i will not get into it's none of my business however that is when it became popular the last week of last season and you're going to see a heck of a lot of this uh, the thing with freeze mage is it pretty much kicks the butt out of miracle rogue uh, miracle rogue i personally am getting a lot of hate because i'm i'm getting bored of seeing it uh, that being the case I'm showcasing a couple decks here that dominate Miracle. Uh, last season, you may know, well, the EU ladder, uh, the top 16, there were 10 decks that ran Miracle. So it's, you're going to see it. The higher you rank up, the more you're going to see it. So this variation uses Pyroblast. Uh, you may see the other variation, which uses Arts Mage. Pretty much the same deck, just a couple cards swapped out. Now. This deck was made by Backspace, and I actually showcased it this last week. However, I did not have a guide created that gave this baby enough justice. So, uh, this is a very detailed guide, and as you can see, your best matchup is Miracle Rogue. I want to showcase this again. This has become a very popular deck, and it dominates Miracle. Um, as too many of these come out, you may see Control Warrior popping its head back in. Because for Control Warrior, it is an easy matchup versus Freeze Mage, and it pretty much uh, kicks the butt out of this deck. So, well, here's a little tidbit, and I'm sure everyone already knows, but when Climbing Ladder, it is handy to have a multitude of decks. From ranks 5 to 1, you'll notice there might be pockets of decks, like rank 3 and 4, you might encounter Freeze Mage. Throw that Control Warrior in there. Rank up pretty easy. Zulok, well, Zulok does well versus Control Warrior and Aggro Rogue. 
So keep that in mind. Now the aggro rogue, aggro rogue, and the freeze mage they pretty much dominate miracle. And if you've got the handlock, well, the shaman uh, makes for a very strong matchup. So this is a great read. It's a little more detailed than what you saw. Well, it's a lot more detailed than what you saw last time, and uh, it's it's worthy of putting placing back in here. Another one that made a nice viewing was our good buddy Trump. His Divine Zoo Warlock. Proto-Hype hit rank 35 on July 2nd. Not too long ago. and I, uh, There wasn't too many people, possibly a legend. But he did run it all the way up. And we do have a very good write-up. So I do want you to check this out. It's a good read. And... I'm happy to see that Hunter didn't completely get annihilated with the Unleash the Hounds nerf. Uh, we do have a deck here from Vandalism, who used this to climb the ladder and hit Legend. Gives a, a bit of a, a detailed analysis on, on what he did. So last week I uh, showcased uh, another Hunter deck, and again this week we have another. Uh, this next deck was made by Kalento. Now, if you'll notice, this deck only costs approximately 3500 to create. Uh, it has one Legend, one Epic, and the rest is rare and under. Expect to see this baby uh, quite a bit. It's had a huge following on Reddit, and he just hit Legend with this deck, and he hit rank 1. And if you want to see some of his gameplay, uh, this Twitch video on demand, uh, if you click this link, it'll show you the match where he won and went from rank 2 to rank 1. So it's, it's, quite, a, it's quite a deck, and I expect to see uh, a lot of people net decking this baby here. Um, just because I don't have these decks showcased on this particular video, I mean, God forbid, I have close to 90 decks now. If you scroll down and click the full meta deck sortable list. Um, some of the newer decks I made, you can sort ascending. You know, you'll notice not all the decks I created are in here yet. There is some type of delay with Hearthhead on listing these decks. So that's why I make these videos. So if you subscribe and click the link at the bottom of this video, you'll see everything I described and you'll get these decks in your hands and using them before uh, those that just check this link. So it's important to subscribe and it's important to you know check what I've got. Just because I don't have a deck showcased in here doesn't mean that this thing isn't hitting legendary. Um, I'm trying to look for new and fresh decks. I'm not trying to look for the the Miracle Rogues. I'm not looking for you know there's you know the meta and uh, it's all in here, but everything in here is sortable. Uh, you could sort descending. The Moz is still running up another priest deck right now, but this is the free-to-play version. But you can tell whatever you want to sort by is great. And we'll say you are extremely fond of, I don't know, Druid. Click Druid here, apply filter. And guess what? <laughs> you've got you've got a plethora. I've got 13 decks just on Druid. So anyway, it's here. Subscribe. Thanks for watching, and expect some awesome decks coming up in the future because guess what? We got some new cards coming out. This is an exciting time. Best of luck, and hope you hit Legend.